Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for this invitation to address the second edition of the forum. You have heard all about the Green Deal and our determination to deliver. It's our solution to a complex situation, a set of interrelated problems, the changing climate, the loss of biodiversity, the reduction of natural resources and pressures from pollution on nature and on our health. It's a path to a green transition. But that's not the only transition we need. Our future will be digital as well as green. These technologies are constantly expanding and they bring challenges as well as good news. Today I want to focus on the opportunities and on artificial intelligence in particular. We are talking about a world where computer systems can sense their environment, where they can act in response to programmed objectives. As you know, vast amounts of data are now collected from sensors that reach into every realm of the planet. Satellites from Copernicus provide us with petabytes of raw data on a daily basis. Open source software and algorithms are incre increasingly available and massive amounts of data are now being stored. AI discerns patterns that we can't see. It makes predictions more efficiently and it can recommend better action and better targeted policies. It can help biodiversity researchers to collect image and audio data to answer pressing ecological questions. The same goes for air pollution. AI can identify the sources and predict pollution events. This gives governments an opportunity to optimize their operations and reduce impacts on people and their environment. In complex areas, AI can be an enormous help. It can help farmers to improve the nutrition of their crops while respecting rules to protect the quality of the soils and waters. But AI is rarely an easy solution. Machine learning needs massive amounts of training data. This creates special problems when data is rare with endangered species, for example. Whatever the quantity we need to ensure that it is easily available, we need to see data as public good and to create the enabling environment to make that happen. Too much data is still locked in silos or difficult to access and use. At the Commission, our aim to tackle this with digital strategies in close collaboration with the member states. We are developing measures to ensure that new technologies like S, 5G, digital clouds and high performance computing can maximize the impact of policy. It means improving governance, frameworks and policy protocols to ensure that digital technologies and AI systems incorporate the health of the natural environment as a fundamental dimension. It means stimulating investment as an incentives for technology development and societal engagement. And it will take ever more collaboration between policymakers, scientists, civil society, technology champions and investors. We need to keep the communication channels open and we need to keep bringing these big picture concerns back to the table. I'm sure you will be doing that at this forum. And I look forward to hearing about the results. There will be no green deal without a strong digital component. I'm sure you'll help us deliver that. Thank you.